Oh, welcome back to another episode of Life of Loz. Obviously, I'm Loz. This is Tucci. We've got a uh, we've got a really nice one for you today. It's consumer protection. So yeah, play the intro on this one. Oh boy, boom! Okay, so a couple of months ago, I was uh, doing a bit of shopping around, and I was, you know, I was, I was liking my Roo Rock and, you know, all that sort of stuff there. But it made me realise how much I love Shoeys, and uh, yeah, so I did a little bit of inquiring, and I bought uh, that BMW. So I, uh, I thought, well, you know, why not uh, look around for a BMW Shoey? Wasn't the best idea I had. Anyway, so I, uh, I shopped online and I mucked around and I. Because uh, BMW don't do anything in the, uh, you know, SBK and MotoGP and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I got onto this little shop and um, I said to him, I said, oh, listen, I said, that's pretty cheap for a, uh, for a BMW Xperia 3. Like, what's the go with that? He goes, oh, no, it's just old stock and, you know, it was a limited market. And, uh, yeah, so I sort of took it as genuine. And so I bought it. And, uh, yeah, so I got home and I got my little box and I, I didn't really know about uh, fake shoeys. Yeah, this really pissed me off. So anyway there, so when I got my little box home, I pulled it out of the thing and I was like, that's a bit of a funny bag. Uh, that's a, yeah, so that's not a, uh, a shoey premium helmet bag. It's a, bit, uh, it's a bit weird. Might have to suss it out. And anyway, so... Didn't know they made fake shoeys. This is a X14 straight from America and it is 100% fake. I've got two X Spirit 3s, one that I've just done a review on, and this is my fake one. Um, it weighs heavier than a shoey, it's uh it doesn't fit, it's not you know classification uh, not, not under the uh safety classification even though it's got i mean i don't know whether that uh xldot ecer 22.05 sticker is i don't know whether they just made that up on a sticker machine or whatever but it's not uh it's not rated uh yeah trust me i was, I was pretty disappointed I had to tighten all the mechanisms and do all the stuff i did take it out for one ride and I will never, never ride in this helmet ever again. It is the most uncomfortable piece of shit. My nose even touched this thing here, pushed it forward. It was just horrible. Hot spots, everything. It smells a bit funny. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the, uh, the difference today between a real one and a shit one. So yeah. All right, now the first thing, this is a real one. So there's no uh, mesh inside there. I hope that's bright enough. You come over the fake one. See there's silver mesh inside there. First thing to, uh, to notice. Second thing there is to notice is buttons. All of these black buttons. Everything's got black buttons. On the fake one, red buttons. Red buttons. Chin strap. This is, this actually nearly scratched my nose putting it on. Look at the different quality in chin strap. The different quality in the leathers. Different quality of the liners. That's the real one. This is the fake one. Real strap. Fake strap. Look at the difference between that. That's actually really good quality and it's that'll that'll definitely save your life. This, that's a single layer. This is uh this is and trying to put that through the D-ring, oh my god, that wouldn't absolutely pain in the ass. Especially with that square and that round. Next little thing is the uh shoey emblem on the back of the on the back of the uh back of that little thing there. No shoey emblem on the back of that. I mean, it doesn't even fit on there straight. The bolts 
I'm not sure whether you can see that. Little silver things. I mean, this is, you know, this is cheap and nasty. Then you go over to the real one. Look at that, that's nice. If that falls off the table, I don't care. It's only a piece of shit anyway. But look at that, that's, that's fully solid. Fully solid in there. So that's the other thing, little bits and pieces. And there's only one more thing. You can see the little bolt. It's actually got little tiny notches in it. I'm sure that'll come up. And then on this one, it's just got a normal standard bolt in it. In some of the other videos that I saw, because I didn't do any research until after I got this, um, that spring on a fake one is usually silver. So, yeah. Quite a few different things to uh, to ponder anyway. Yeah, and these are the different, uh, the, these are the different two shoey bags that they come in. This is obviously the shit one, fake one, and this is obviously the uh, the good one. So yeah, it's uh, it was very disappointing, but uh, you know it's a learning curve. Even the little little things, it just feels so cheap. It creaks and it's uh, obviously this is made out of uh, PVC. I got that on one of the videos after I got this. Uh, the other one, uh, obviously, the, the genuine um, shoe is obviously made out of an Ames uh, technology uh, fiberglass with natural fibres uh, materials. Fiberglass and carbon fibre. So, yeah. Uh, but even this, like, even that, it's just really bendy. Uh, going up and down, bits and things. You know, so, you can just imagine. And then when I first got it, I... Uh, I move this little clip up to lock that in place and it won't come off now, but that little clip came out So you just imagine if you actually had a crash in one of these, you know I mean, yeah, I thought it was cheap at the time and I thought oh well, you know, like if it's only you know sort of uh, 500 US bucks well, you know, I've, yeah, it's old stock and and then yeah, so I what I did is I, uh, I messaged the guys uh, on eBay afterwards and yeah, no, nah, they didn't message me back. I put in a complaint, everything else. Yeah, 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 never got anything back. Um, it was one of those things, but I thought, you know what? I could probably make a video out of it. Um, as I said, I took it for one test ride and never again. Just, uh, yeah. But it just, uh, you know, just cheap and nasty piece of shit. But, uh, yeah, I've got a, uh, I've never actually tried to take any of that out, but, yeah. It's obviously got different shells. It's even got the, uh, it's even got the, it's even got the fake, um, or the actual uh, EMS vents for the uh, for the tops as well. That was uh, that was pretty good actually. But yeah, all in all, it's just a piece of shit. Um, as soon as you put it on, you realise it's not a real shoey, especially when your nose point, points is up against that. And as soon as I put my chin forward like that, I actually move the helmet with the uh, with my chin. So. Yeah, it's a, a bit of a dust collector. I put all my life a lot of stickers all over it. Nobody knew it was a fake until right now, but uh, yeah, I'll put up a, uh, <coughs> I'll put up some photos now of some other fake shoeys um, on the Xperia 3 side of things. So you'll be able to see. Um, yeah, definitely disappointing. Put their photos up now. So yeah, that's about it for me today. Um, little tooty. Um, just make sure you wear all of the gear all the time. Thanks for all my subscribers and thanks for watching the video. Um, always leave a comment down below. Um, yeah. This is uh, Life of Loz. Obviously I am Loz. This is Tootie. I'll see you on the next one. Surprise, surprise! We got a tootie! This would have been the best shoey ever! It's a rubbish bush, bush, bush. No, I would never close the lid on you, no! <laughs> little toots. Oh, you little shitbag. <laughs>